Oh look, it's uh, what's your name, Skyla? Oh yeah, I forgot to get uh, Pharaoh Seed, de facto something. Let's get him out and give him that, give him that Rocky helmet, so he'll be a force to be reckoned with. All right, de facto, he has. Oh my God, those are some terrible nature stats. His special attack is boosted, even though it's his second worst thing after his speed, and his special defense is lowered. It's really sad to see, but at least his normal defense seems to be okay. And he does have iron barbs, and he does have the rocky helmet. And, uh, some, some attacks. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe we can teach him something. Alright, let's go catch a new team! I'm excited to get all these electric Pokemon on our side. We can use our own Volt Switch strategy, along with some uh, electric gems and uh, magnets and all kinds of shit. We gotta find the rustling grass first of all to get a Molga and a new Audino. So I guess I'll I'll play uh, up here until we find some rustling grass. Hey, there it is right there! Fingers crossed, let's go for it! What do we got? Mumkey needs a new pair of Audino level 29! 26! 20... No, that's the absolute worst. I always get cucked at the very beginning. No, thank you. Hey! Level 29 Audino. Perfect. It was worth the wait. If we can catch it. Otherwise, not worth anything. Stun Spore him. This Audino is pretty good, since it's legitimately beating Victor in a fight. If this was a deathmatch, which it, I guess it's about to be, Audino beat Victor in a fight while he was paralyzed. So Audino is going to become the toughest thing on the team. Let's, uh, let's do some crunch and then start chucking balls at him. Oh good, he's paralyzed. Let's go for it. Before Victor dies, chuck that ball. Let's not mess around. Let's go for the Ultra Ball. Hey, we did it. Super strong level 29 Audino. Welcome to the team. Let's find you a name. And the winner is Cynadarian. Cynadarian who says you may be suicidal and depressed, but alcoholism is not the answer. Hey, listen up, Cynadarian. I don't tell you how to live your life. <laughs> D don't you dare <laughs> try to tell me what I should or shouldn't do. You Audino bitch. You Cynadarian, um, something. <laughs> I, I, I can't reply to you in a coherent way because I've been drinking too much. Maybe you have a point. <laughs> Let's go get Cynadarian out. Amolga! Perfect! I've been looking for you, Amolga. I think level 27 is the only one. Yep. Well, 10% chance of finding you, let's make it worth it. Start off with the Stun Spore. And we got him. We probably want to catch two of you, so that we can trade- Oh god, he cured himself! Shit! Oh no, is this gonna kill me? I need him to be paralyzed to help me catch him. Okay, good, we're fine. Supreme G, let's do that again, and now he has no berry. And now he has no berry! You're staying paralyzed this time, you bitch! Don't even try that shit with me! Oh, you know what? If we trade to get Bulldor, we I don't think we can nickname him unless I find out where the nickname house is. So he might just be called, like, Boldy or whatever they wanted to, to name him. Hey, we caught him! I didn't think we would. I was just wasting time so that the lead seed could keep sucking him up. But we caught him with a Great Ball! Hey, that's fine by me. Let's see who gets to be Amolga. And if his, if his nature's really good, I'll keep him, but if his nature is anything but perfect, we're gonna trade him for Bulldor if I can find where the trader is. And the winner is Bellity Epic, who says that was a fucking light Yagami master plan and monologue. Thank you, Bellity Epic. Let's fit your whole name in there, maybe. Unfortunately, I don't know which person wants to trade, so I'm just gonna have to go up and battle everybody until I find the right guy. Which is gonna suck. Oh, it's a guy in a house on the southwest portion of the route. That's good to know. So, southwest. So, right here. I want to go to that house. Why am I fighting this guy? Wasting my own time. I guess we can try out our new friend, Cinderian. This guy who thinks he knows how much I should be drinking. Ooh, he has over 100 HP. We haven't seen that yet. A female that knows a tract, but let's go for a secret power. 
Not bad, Cinderian. You got him. Let's go get that Amolga. Check its stats and then probably trade it. Ooh, shaky grass. I can't resist. I can't resist. Uh-oh, I, I went too high. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me. All right, Bellity Epic has static. And the stats... Oh, it's like neutral stats, so nothing's really good or bad. Uh, yeah, well... Whatever, let's go trade him for Bulldor. Fuck him. <laughs> Sorry, Bellity Epic. I would... Level 30 Bulldor is better than you. And I'm probably gonna catch another Amulga soon. So let's go trade. Ooh, shaky grass. I gotta do it. Maybe I'll get a new Amulga and I can compare their stats. But most likely it's just gonna be a level 26. How do you know? No, 27. Hello, sir. Hey, Cotney. I like that Pokemon. That looks like a supreme gentleman to me. Hello, sir. Uh, word on the street is a little birdie told me uh, I threw the grapevine that you want to trade a thing have wait Would you tr no time out? No, you got it backwards you sick fuck You've got it fucking backwards you sick fuck That's not what it said on the internet No, 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 no You piece of shit it says that where the hell did it say it yeah pokemon as in you can find a emolga by oh uh... well but but i wanted Bulldor. No! <laughs> no! Great. Well, maybe we should go just catch a normal Bulldor. And and then if we trade him the Bulldor, do we get a level 30 Emolgut? Because that's better than 27. Oh! Oh, Melody Epic is probably laughing in my face. Or, Melody Epic is laughing. I tried to get rid of him, and I was cucked again. Cucked again. How dare I? Humiliating. Okay, let's uh, let's teach him some moves, I guess, since he's going to stick around. We'll give him that classic Volt Switch. We'll give him a Magnet. We'll treat him right, since we just tried to sell him <laughs> down the river. God damn it. And I explained this plan last episode, so I bet there are tons of comments saying, Monkey, you fucking moron. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, double team, that'll be fun. Electro Ball. Ooh, if I paralyze something, then Electro Ball does even more damage. That's not too bad. Yeah, forget Pursuit. I'm never going to use that shit because they never switch out. Here's a Magnet, buddy. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to find some Zebstrika to make up for this, this horrendous, uh, mistake. No, don't call me, I'm almost to the dark grass, what do you want? Yeah, thanks. Dark grass, give me some Zebstrika, love, I need a level 33 Zebstrika. Nope, neither one of you will do. Hey, Zebstrika, level 33? No, too low. Watchhog level 30 fucking 3, that's high. Watchhog would do better than Victor, probably, and have a stab and intimidate, or retaliate, but I, I don't need that right now. But maybe I should catch it for later. I don't know. Is that the strongest Watchhog I can get? Yeah, it is. Uh, but they're so, they're so common, I'll just get it later if I care. Alright folks, I know I was about to go catch a Zeb Striker, but then I read a comment saying that I should get a Focus Sash to put on to... Why aren't you going? To put on to my Supreme G. And I thought, you know what? Supreme G with a Focus Sash would be perfect, because no matter how hard he gets hit, he'll have one life point remaining if he started off at max, and there's a lot of fun, cool shit I could do with that, so I thought, okay, I'll go get 
the I'll go get the item. I'll go, I'll go get the focus sash. But as it turns out, you have to have 48 battle points in this battle subway to get it. And the way to get points is to go battle these people on the subway. And if you win seven battles in a row, you get three points. So I thought, okay, how hard could it be? And then I spent two hours losing and then eventually winning to get three points. So it took two hours for me to get three points and I need 48 to get the focus sash. So it's, it's just a nightmare that I'm faced with. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do a bonus episode either tomorrow or the next day. So it's not going to replace a normal episode, but I will do a bonus episode just showing me going through it once so you can have, you know, some experience of, of what I've gone through. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that in a second. And then as far as getting the focus sash, I'm not going to do it now because that would take a lot of time. But in my free time, perhaps I'll, I'll keep working towards it. And hopefully by the time we really need it, I'll have it. So that's my plan here. All right, now let's catch a level 33 Zeb Strika. Hopefully they have uh, electric moves. I don't know why they wouldn't for some reason. No, not Watchog. I want level 33 Zeb Strika. X Scissor. Might be useful in the future, but not right now. I did read a comment today saying that Pokemon in the Dark Grass are especially. They modified their catch rate so that they're really hard to catch. So as it turns out, I'm not crazy. All this time I thought I was crazy and that the game was way too hard for no reason and that when something is in the red and paralyzed and Ultra Ball should work, I was right. It should work. But they changed it so that these Dark Grass Pokemon are of a different breed. So I'm glad I read that and realized I'm not just losing my mind, which I, I feel like I'm losing my mind on a daily basis. So it's nice to know sometimes I'm not. Hey, level 33, perfect! Perfect, let's see if we can manage to catch him with, with a crazy different catch rate. Start off with a stun spore, please don't fuck it up, we got him, good. I'm pretty sure we can easily get him down to the red, and start chucking those, oh, what the fuck? Cherry Berry, you fuck! Oh, don't die, we need him paralyzed. Okay, good, Supreme G, do it again, he has no more berries. Yeah, nice try, Cherry Berry, bitch. You're not gonna cherry these berries today, boy. Look at him. He's he's a vagina in the front. You guys see that shit between his two front legs? He's got like a little fucking badge going on. <laughs> That's me judging Zeb Striker. <laughs> Let's get him down. Let's go for um a retaliate attack from 157. Yeah, go for it. He should be able to survive this. If not, maybe he's not worth having on the team. Yeah, that's fine. I knew he would be strong enough to take that. Go for a retaliate again. This one won't do nearly as much, but that's okay. Paralyzed again. Now we're getting into the range of critical hits finishing him off, and that's always scary. That's a scary, Terry fairy. Um... Let's go to de facto. Maybe he can hit me, and then I can switch out. What the fuck? Oh, he, he was trying to use Pursuit on me. Oh, that might be a problem if he tries to use Pursuit when I switch out and then he kills himself. Let's uh, let's switch just in case. I didn't think about that, and I don't want to lose this guy. Let's go to uh, Sindari, and maybe he'll try to Pursuit anyway. No, he didn't. Sindari, you can take some blows while we chuck some balls at him. He's very paralyzed. Maybe we can do a... Uh... First of all, we can attract him, which is always fun. So even if he tries to hit us, he's not gonna... He's paralyzed and attracted, you got a pretty low chance of hitting somebody. So he's pretty much right where we, where we want him to be. We can use an attack on him, but I'm too scared to, even though... You know what, he could take another retaliate from 157, so surely he can take one from Sindarian. There's, uh, uh, how do you pronounce that? Sinidarian? I don't know. I'm calling him Sindarian. <laughs> Go for a retaliate. Keep him alive, but get him lower in health. Perfect. He's in the he's in the red. He's paralyzed. He's where I want him to be. He's immobilized by love. He's got a fucking vagina on the front of his body. Let's go for some great balls. If we use all these balls and they don't work, the timer ball will have to work, right? Go for the ultra ball. Let's do it. We want this Zeb Strika, and then we can go fight at the ghost tower, I think? 
Didn't even shake once. Whoa, buddy. Didn't even shake once. And he managed to get a hit off on me. Luckily, that didn't do very much damage, and I've got so many good things going on that I shouldn't be getting hit too often. Let's go for another Ultra Ball. Zeb Stryka, I need you to beat this gym. I feel like you're the one. Shake one, and done. Okay. Three! Got him! Fucking got him! He stayed in the ball. Okay, let's find out who gets to be level 33 Zeb Stryka. The key to winning this gym. And the winner is Smug, who says, Every day that a Pokemon is not named after me, we stray further from God's light. Well, I'm glad I could get you closer to God's light, my friend. Here we go. There, it's a fitting name for a big old level 33 Zeb Stryka. I imagine he is very smug. And with that, I think I'm prepared to, to switch the team and go fight through the Ghost Tower and then go fight the gym. Unless we find another 33 Zeb Striker right now? No, we did not. Alright, looks like Zeb Striker has a boosted attack stat, which... Oh yeah, Spark, perfect. So sp they're all physical attacks. Good, so Spark will do even extra damage. Plus, I'm going to give him the Magnet. We'll give him the Magnet. He's got super high speed as well. And uh, if he gets hit by electric moves, then he boosts his special attack, but I don't see that happening. Yeah, we'll give the Magnet to him. Because he has much higher attack stat than shitty Bellity Epic. Don't even know why I'm using Bellity Epic at this point. Alright, Smug, let's see what you can do against a shitty Tranquil. Go for a super boosted, uh, nature boosted spark attack. You got Magnet, you got the nature, we got it all, and it's super effective, you're done. <laughs> you deserve to be Smug after that performance. Swad Loon, you say? Oh, it'd be a shame if I had some sort of fire-related physical move, like, I don't know, Flame Charge! And I think it also boosts my already high speed stat? So yeah, Swadloon's a goner. Critical hit dead. And I get a speed rise. Zebstrika is very good. Semi-poor, you must not have anything else good on your team if that's what you're resorting to. Let's go for a Spark Attack. Faster than life. And I'm gonna be, uh, just too strong for you. You're dead again. Smug, you're three for three on one-hit KO so far. Tranquil, wow, you're gonna be four for four. <laughs> I like Smug a lot already. Welcome to the team. I'm gonna keep you around for a while, I think. Okay, I need to go to the top of the Ghost Tower to be able to go to the gym. I haven't done any research on the Ghost Tower. I don't know which Pokemon are in here, and I'm not really expecting to catch anything here. However, if I do find a wild encounter that is just, like, too good to to not, you know, let it go. If, if I see something I have to catch, I will. But I'm not expecting to. Hyper Potion. For some reason, I remember getting Will-O-Wisp in here. Which, it would be very nice to teach something Will-O-Wisp, because it very much... I mean, it literally fits my burn strategy. My whole strategy is to burn things. So Will-O-Wisp would be perfect. Ooh, Litwick. See, I, I like Chandelure and all that, but I can't use it here. I'm not catching a shitty Litwick. I don't need that. My whole team could beat that. Hey, yeah, Will-O-Wisp. I was right. I was right. Good. More, more burning things we can do. Forget about paralyzing them. If we can burn them and seed them, that's a, that's a whole new ball game. Let's see if anybody can learn it, though. No, nobody right now. <laughs> Literally nobody, but maybe somebody someday. Okay, Skyla, I made it to the top of your stupid ghost tower, which means you owe me a gym battle. So let's do it. I don't care about your dumb hurt Pokemon. I don't care about your, your tragic backstory about how your father died in a plane crash and you vowed to become the queen of the skies. I don't care. I'll ring your dumbbell and the next time, next time we meet, you're going down, sister. <laughs> Sisters and brothers. Uh, mothers and fathers. And other, other family members will know that you should have died in that plane crash that day. <laughs> I'm going to humiliate you to the point where, you, where you'll wish that you would have died alongside your father. Yeah, I'll meet you at the gym. Get out of here. I don't care who you are. Yeah, I'll be there. You better believe I'll be there. I got a shitty Amolga. And I've got a really good smug Zeb Stryka that will probably defeat you all by himself. 
probably dead in one hit, dead in one hit, dead in one hit. Too easy. I'm not even worried about this one. Not worried in the slightest. Although, since, uh, you know what? Since Swoobat only has physical moves, I should start off with... I should start off with Pharaoh Seed. Because he'll just be... He'll be easy pickings. He'll be easy pickings. 